familiar with Hillebrand? No. Trius Winery, down the street. Okay, so he is co-founder of Hillebrand Trius. So new work was there. Uh, Hillebrand came in, wanted to buy him out. He owned 60, they owned 40. And um, he stayed there for a couple of years and he produced the first Vidal ice wine for Hillebrand Trius. The press is still outside in the front if you want to have a chance to look later. He left Hillebrand and did some other projects. Um, he built a 26-room hotel, which is here on St. Mary Street in Niagara Lake. He also uh, was a high school teacher as well. In 92, he purchased this property here, which was a peach farm. He designed the building to become Joseph Estate Wines. 2002, he received his PhD in environmental engineer, and now he owns Joseph Natural Products. So something, if you're interested, you can look online. He makes the grape seed oil, which is a supplement not for cooking, just for like arthritis, joint pain, or other illnesses. And we also make our gluten-free flour. Now the way that that's done is our seeds make the grapeseed oil, and then the skin makes the gluten-free flour. So something you're interested in. So that's what he does. Um, that business will be moving hopefully down to near Hillebrand down the road eventually. Okay, so that's what he concentrates or helps other winery design. So our ice wine does go to China. So we have some shareholders, so um, something that... If you're interested in trying our ice wine today, it is three dollars for tasting. If you purchase, um, we will waive that cost. So we're going to do three tasting: two on us, and then your third is a complimentary that you can try on our menu. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay. So what am I going to try today? Let's do um, one dry, one sweet. Um, Vanessa will go around with the riesling. This riesling is going to be our sweet one. It's a little bit of peach, nectarine flavor, sweetness of three. I'm going to go around with the Chardonnay Musquet. I'm looking at some floral notes. Maybe peach, um, what else? Jasmine, that's the thing key right here, jasmine flavor. Um, this is the sweetness of wine. All right, so I'm going to go start this way. Anybody with Chardonnay Musquet? This is going to be less dry. This is sweet. Um, I'll do the Chardonnay. And everyone just take a glass and then you can let me know, okay? Sure. Me too. Um, just pick a glass and then if we miss you, we'll come back, okay? Me too. Sweeter. Anybody share name of Skate here? <laughs> oh yeah, I like that one. It's so nice.
I know. I'm just going to get it. So good. Are you going to get the same thing? All right, so welcome to Caroline Sellers, everybody. Has anybody been here before? Yes. New people. All right. So we're a small family estate winery. If you live in Ontario, we're not in the LCBO. So we only produce around eight to 10,000 cases a year. So we only sell our wine right here. If you live in Ontario, we can ship within the province, but generally it's the only way to get the wine. So right next door is where Rick and Frida live. They're the owners. They started the farm back in 1978. So they were newlyweds and wanted to buy a farm, but they needed some help. So Rick's mom, Caroline, helped them out. They purchased the land and they didn't have a winery. So they just worked the farm, sold their grapes. They have an uncle that has a winery, so they just sold them all to their uncle. And then as they had kids and their kids got older, they started to convince their dad to open their own winery. So they opened up in 2002. Caroline had passed away before then, so they named that winery after her, because without her, they never would have got started. So what we offer here on the list, you guys get to pick your own four wines. So if you only like white wines, just do whites. If you just like sweet stuff, totally your call. The numbers beside the wines are your sugar levels. So a zero is dry, and then the higher it gets, the sweeter it is. We have listed them in the order. We recommend tasting. So if you're going to do a little bit of everything, follow the list. There are some notes here. So the one that says sold out, the Farmer Chardonnay, we do have a new 2017 vintage. The price is not on sale. So how it says the 16 was on sale, that one's all gone. So it is $12.95 for the new one. And then the Farmer's White. So that one is a Riesling or Meter Vidal blend. It is our best-selling white every year. So it's very floral on the nose, but you'll taste a lot of peach and nectarine. A couple whites not on the list that we have available for you is our Pinot Grigio. That one's really nice and dry. It's a zero. It's a lot of white grapefruit and melon. And then we also have our double gold award winner, our Vidal. So it's a two on the sugar coat, a little bit sweeter, very tropical in flavor, a lot of peach, pear, and even pineapple. Then we've got a rosé. And when you get down to the reds, the farmer's red. Um, Rick's nickname is the farmer because he also worked at General Motors. So not enough that you had to work a farm. He also worked the night shift at plant. So he got nicknamed the farmer. So you'll see we do a farmer's white, a farmer's red, rosé, sort of his favorite wines. The farmer's red is Bacco Noir, Merlot, Cab Franc, and a little Cab Soak. So it's a popular blend that we do, nice and easy drinking. When you go down the reds too, you'll see one there, F-O-C-H. That's pronounced Foch. So it's the Marichal Foch grape. Not grown to...
a well over a thousand stainless steel tanks, wooden barrels located in here. Can anybody guess how many liters of wine besides you are in that tank? How many liters of wine? One million. Uh, 86,000 liters of wine, which would produce one, 112,000 bottles of wine right there, one tank alone. Imagine having that baby um, in your backyard. You'd have friends until the wine runs out. <laughs> what if we pass out? Guys, <laughs> we'll you to the uh, wines here at Lakeview Wine Company. We're going to be having fun, guys. You guys are part of